guys and welcome back to my YouTube video So, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something super interesting and also super informative for you guys who wants to study in Germany So I'll be talking about Azoya, student colleague So since I'm a student colleague student at the moment Once I posted about my daily life in student colleague And I got a lot of messages, people are like testing me on Instagram And then they were like, hey, please explain more about the student colleague I think like it might be very helpful if I post a video about it so without any further ado, let's get started And wait a minute, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you guys have any questions related to sitting colleague and studying in Germany so what is a student colleague so basically if you're a non-european citizen and you want to study here in germany you guys basically have to go to a student colleague so student colleague is very important for the non-european citizen if you want to study in germany our like high school degree it's not as the same like the german high school degree so basically we have to go through the student colleague so we got like the degree from the student colleague and then like we can apply to the university with this student colleague certificate in student colleague they will help you like to get prepared so well for you to study here at the german local university and basically student colleague has two semesters and it's an intensive course so like in this two semester you guys are going to the class like intensive every day and you guys are gonna speak and also studying in german and also if you guys already graduated from high school and you guys got like an s80 or maybe an a level degree you guys don't have to go to student college you guys can just go direct to like a dsh course honestly i don't really know what dsh is but i have like a lot of friends who's going to dsh and some of them they're like six months dsh course and then they can go straight to the university so okay let's go back to the student college a lot of people are asking me if student college is free or not actually it's not free it's not literally like you don't pay a one cent at all no you have to pay but it's not as much as the private student college so basically if you are at the public student college you guys have to pay for like the semester ticket overall let's just say i'm studying here in Greifswald and i have to pay around 100 euro i have to pay this 100 euro it's for like the papers and everything it's outside of the semester ticket it's 100 euro for the whole semester i mean like just for one semester so because i have like two semesters so in total i have to pay 200 euros and it's all different with every student colleague I have a friend of mine, he's studying in Essen He has to pay 200 and 300 euros, I forgot how much exactly But it's all included with the transport ticket So next, if you guys want to study here in the student college You guys have to be able to speak in German Not only speak, but also have to be able to read To understand a complex article or something like that in German because you guys are gonna study all the subjects in German for example, I'm studying a course I have to study Geschichte, Literatur, Sozialkunde und Deutsch everything is all in German if you wanna go study in a student college you guys have to go through the entrance test which is Aufnahmeprüfung so basically, each Aufnahmeprüfung in each student college is different in Halle, I have to go through an English test but the rest of the student college, I tried to test mostly they are all testing me only in German because I only have G course but if you're studying M course or T course they're gonna test your mathematics as well for the entrance test, not all the entrance tests are free but for example, like my university they made it free, you don't have to pay but for example, Halle, I have to pay 20 euros to take the test and by paying this 20 euros, it doesn't mean you're gonna get inside so it's just paying for the test so what are you gonna learn in student college? It depends on you what you wanna study. Let's say you wanna study engineering. You have to go to the tech course, which means technic course. And since I want to study design, I have to go to a gay course. For example, gay course that is like for humanity studies. If you want to study law, if you want to be a translator, you want to study communication, you have to go to gay course. And there is also another course which is tech course that is technic course m course that is medicine course v course that is wirtschaft also economics 
and then they also have another one which is a screw split i don't really know honestly what it is and the requirement if you want to apply to this course is first of all you guys have to have this minimum german level is bit why once you're already finished from a german student college then you're gonna graduate it with a c1 so after the two semesters in student college you guys are gonna facing this festival room which is that is what i'm gonna to face in one month and also during the student college you guys can work but only when you guys are having a holiday for example you guys are having Easter break then you guys are usually gonna have like two or three weeks off it depends on which student college you guys going but then you're gonna get paper from your university it's gonna be written there that you're having your day off and then you can work there and that's all but if you're like normal class day that you can't work it's gonna be legal to work during your class during the student college it's not easy it's actually like a normal school because you guys have class from the morning until afternoon when you guys already finished talk about a certain topic for a week then you guys are usually gonna have a test which usually calls like controller or clausua so clausua is like more big exam after the control the big exam is the festival approval it's only done once and it's at the end of the student college but control and clausua that is happening every month and all the tasks are written in german so no english at all no english at all no english at all so i think that's for today that's for the information about the student college and i really hope all my information that i give to you guys will be very helpful for you and if you guys still have any questions, please just like comments down below or you guys can text me on Instagram. I'm gonna link down below my Instagram username and you guys can like talk to me in private. Everything up to you guys. And I really hope I can help you guys. And if you guys have any other themes, any other topics that you guys want me to talk about, please do comment down below again. And I will make it for you guys. So we say, Unspeta, tschüss!